I think the Shroomish made up for the extra turn on the Starly. Starly's a 3 shot without uh, all those growls. Still no encounter.
I really would like to get an encounter. Several, actually. For catches and for experience. Okay. Catch this. Oh, I used the wrong move. But if it dies, then... Okay, that's fine. I thought that might kill, but... I'm not that high level, so it's... That works out well. I still need to get a Zigzagoon. I can't leave this route without a Zigzagoon. And I ideally want to beat a kill a wild as well. The problem is this area, Zigzagoon is not as common, so... Be a bit of a grind to get one. It's very nice to get one early. Like right after the two cutscenes with the old lady and the professor. Because that area is a different uh, it's a different area than the route I'm on now, so there's a different encounter table and I think Zig Zigzagoon is more common there. So I'm going to pick up a bunch of berries. We actually need to get all these kinds of berries over the course of the run, and it's just nice to pick them all up here. So actually what I'm going to do, since I haven't gotten an encounter yet, I'm going to to kill. I'm gonna beat this guy. It's slower than a wild, but gets me the experience that I need. I still need to get a zigzag in, though, so I'm gonna have to go down. I'm gonna go down in a couple extra tiles here. this tile specifically because I want to get a specific step counter and so this tile is where I would run if I was skipping the trainer that I just fought. So I just want to keep that as consistent as possible. Okay, I already have one of those. Ember, and also good thing it didn't have a berry. So this is a likely catch now. Good. safe strat to the gym, so I'm going to deposit my slaves. Quite a bit slower than the optimal, but the optimal is very risky, so... Deposit there. I picked up the Shadow Mailer, I get the moon, trade that for a Moonstone, and the Moonstone sells for 2500 so I make 2450 in profit. Which is quite useful. Buying some balls because I need to catch more things. And it's nice to have extra money, some potions, some antidotes, an escape rope, seven repels, next speed, 
and two X attacks. I also have a bit extra money from the trainer. I should have bought another antidote, but that's fine. I'll just buy something else later. This gym has three trainers, plus the gym leader. Two of them are mandatory, one of them is optional. I'm fighting the two mandatory ones, and then I will be fighting the gym leader, but only beating his first two pokes, and then I will die. Go back to the center, and then go back, fight his first two pokes again. And die, and then come back to the gym, fight the optional trainer in here, and that will get me enough experience to get Monferno. And then I'll be get Mock Punch, and that just... And plus the extra bulk allows me to really beat up on the gym leader for the third try. It loses quite a bit of time, but it's extremely consistent. So I want to get to fairly low health on these first two fights, but not terribly low. I do want to be able to defeat the first two folks of the gym leader. Okay. Crit, low kick is a range to kill. Okay, burn, that means he'll do less, but if he crits, that doesn't matter. Okay, 7 HP. Okay, so I'll go into the later like this so normally this his lead is uh, two head range with ember but since I'm in blaze I'm gonna lead scratch and then go ember I use fake out so I'm gonna have to heal and now I'll just double ember That's a good first roll. Ideally, I want to be in Blaze for this guy, because he's a two-hit in Blaze. But since I'm not in Blaze, I will lead Scratch. He bulked up, so I'll go for another Scratch. Okay, now I'll do Embers. actually pretty scary. Now, hopefully he doesn't heal. He did. Okay. So. We'll just spam the grab and spam the thing down. Okay, this should hopefully die, because I'm in blaze. Just get 13 for here. It doesn't really matter. Well, if I were to try to beat this Hitmonchan first try, I would want to be level 13 for that particular uh, iteration of the fight. So now, because I took the center to deposit my slaves, I go right back to the gym and go back to the gym leader and do the same thing again. This time it's a bit safer because my health is I'm at full health now, obviously. But the uh, Tyrogue is still a, a range. Actually, never mind, that did a lot more damage. It says I'm level 13, probably. So I need to check and change my notes on that. Same thing with this guy, I'm gonna scratch him once. Ember. This is probably a range here. Yeah, it always ends up on one health. That's technically fine. I do need to my health to whittle down a bit, and his, the Hitmonchan will use bulk up a bunch of times until he's in, I'm in killing range, so yeah, that should die there perfect. I'll 
late scratch here. If I want, if don't want him to burn, it get burned. Um, if I were to again be beating the gym leader on the first try, I would actually want to get a burn. I'd be using Ember pretty much exclusively on this fight. But I'm just gonna keep spamming scratch. I think you defeat him with tackle. Okay, so that's the last purpose first purposeful death or loss to a trainer. Now I go back into the center and I withdraw. Just as egg. Yeah. Start early just now. So I'm not quite at level 14 to get Monferno, so I'm gonna go fight the optional trainer first. And she's pretty straightforward. Two hit range with Ember. That looks fairly good. And so now we got Monferno, and Monferno. Not only has better attack than Chimchar, but also gets Mach Punch, which is a nice physical stab move. And unfortunately, we can't get X Specials at the Mart, otherwise, we would set up X Specials and probably do Martin first try because it's obviously faster to do that. But you can only get X Attacks. So now I actually have a decent uh, physical attacking move to handle the Gym Leader. Yeah, Chimchar's Scratch just doesn't do enough to make Scratch an option, so... Now we go beat up on this guy. So we're hoping, for, we're hoping to not see Bulk up turn 1 from this Tyrogue. If he bulks up twice, then it's, a bit, it's quite a bit slower, so we'll set up our two X attacks. Okay, just no, don't use it this time. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Uh, oh, yeah, this match. Okay, wow, triple bulk up. Okay, so now I'll just Mach Punch. This is the slowest Martin fight. Next, Scraggy is a one hit KO with Mach Punch because it's Scraggy's Dark type. And if Hitmonchan is a two hit, it'll be scratched twice unless he uses Bulk Up, and then I'll have to switch to Mach Punch for the second hit. That's a pretty low roll of Scratch, actually. Pretty sure it's a guaranteed to hit range with Scratch if he doesn't bulk up, but... Mach Punch will take care of him. So yeah, that loses a decent amount of time. I'm not sure if it's exactly... four and a half minutes, but I did actually have to grind for the Zigzagoon, so I... Lost a bit of time for that, not just for the the throwing fights. Okay. So now for the next little bit, the key is just to make sure my steps are very consistent because there's a manipulation coming up which relies on step count. And it, steps were very important even leading up to this section as well. Okay, 
fight's good. So don't go for the Amber Crit there, because he has that full restore, I think, so you just waste time. So go for the Mach Punch, takes him down to about 45% health, and then 55% health, and then uh, you can finish him off with Ember. Alright, just get got Rock Smash, so I'm going to use teach that right now to Zigzagoon. walked up to this guy, because I'm about to take a path that will give me less steps, so I need to make up some steps to hit us the cluster that I'm going for later, so could have maybe walked up to this trainer, taken a couple extra steps, or I think four in total, which would have been pretty nice to get, but it's fine. Okay, let's see if Rock Smash gives me an item. I took that was two extra steps I think I just took there because I was doing grass strats. That's fine. Like I'll have to make up some steps later anyway. But I get to go through the grass or go down here. I uh, have to contend with a spinner, but because I have my Starly, I can just dodge the grass, and that saves encounters. There are pokes that can learn strength in the grass, but it's not as likely to get them, so. And there's a much more consistent strength slate later. tricky in terms of movement. Make sure you don't take any extra steps. Did that well. So this town, you pretty much only visit for plot, there's not much to do here. I am going to take advantage of the herb shop, as well as this NPC who gives the charcoal. This area is a bit of a dead end, but I'm going to have to come back here later. 
Um, so it's a dead end right now, but when I get cut, as well as a bunch of other moves, um, and beat seven of the eight gym leaders, I come through here to get to the eighth town. So it's convenient to fight this guy, because you get a bunch of useful experience. That's a very good item. That gives me a bit of flexibility later. I would like to get one PP item from the uh, Rock Smash Rocks in, this, in the run as well. So I'm going to try to hopefully find an Ekans here. If I don't get one as I go through, which doesn't look like it will be the case. I'll grind for one here. So I almost always get Ekans as I'm running down the grass, but... And usually if I grind for him, he shows up pretty soon, but this is pretty insane. There we go. Okay, so whatever his ability is, that will dictate what move I use on him. Um, I will use... Intimidate is nice as well. Because this Atkins is going to get some action.
annoying. So that extra experience from the Paris Caterpie Trainer gets me level 18 for this beautiful light, which is now a guaranteed kill outside of Blaze with Ember. It's a pretty favorable range of level 17, but this guarantees it. which I'm going to be using as my fire-type move for a, quite a while. Okay, I forgot to repel, but that's fine. <laughs>
five more tiles, technically. I can't do that, though. One, two, three, four. One last tile, then. I took those extra steps to make sure I got close to the cluster of Abras that I was aiming for. I was still off by one, but I can still I'm still pretty close if I get that specific uh, to get that cluster. I should really adjust my offset by a tiny bit, but it's close enough that you can go for it. The really great thing about that cluster is that it's three or four Abras, and they all are weak. You can weaken them all with Mock Punch. They all have good enough HP and defense. Some of them are weak enough, just strong enough to survive a Mock Punch. And they can kill themselves with Struggle if you get unlucky. So what I did there is I taught Headbutt and Bulk Up to Monferno. So those moves are going to be useful, and I taught Flash to Zigzagoon, because I actually do need a Pokemon with Flash to get to go south out of the town. And so obviously Zigzagoon is the only other one other than Monferno that could learn it, so I wouldn't teach it to Monferno. This area I'm about to enter is actually technically at this point in the run optional, but I will need to come back here later, and this extra experience is quite useful again, so we go a little bit out of our way to do all of this now, which overall should save, well, save time in the long run, because later on I'll have the bike and I'll just blitz through. All, past all these guys. Now I thought that thing was guaranteed, so I'll have to take a look at that. fights are I'm doing a singles because I want all the experience to go on to Pokemon Inferno. That'll be a theme in this run. There's some... Um, that's a 50-50 range. That's a bit annoying. I missed that, but... Anyway. The way the XP is set up, I actually get... would get a little bit too much if I did all the double battles with as singles, so there's some double battles that I'm going to be doing as, as doubles, in which my slaves, one of them will get some of the experience. 
and that's to make sure I don't learn a move too early. Okay, so hopefully I get an ether here, that'd be nice to get. Okay, that's fine. So there's an ether coming up after this guy, which I could skip because I picked up the elixir and the rock smash rocks, but I'm going to pick it up anyway in case I run into trouble with uh, power points later. This Geodude should be guaranteed. I escape rope out of here. And because I, I walked into the center in the town briefly and walked out, I can now teleport to that center, so that's a hub. Which is nice because I have to go over here now to the Institute, which Team Magma has taken over. I swapped Atkins to the top because Atkins is a poke that will actually can actually deal damage in this fight, and I, that's super helpful for uh, the Magby here, which is a range with Headbutt, so getting some damage in from Atkins is helpful. I could leave here technically, but Poison Sting is fine as well. The Slugma is 3 and 16 range. Um, I will be using Headbutt, so it has a 30% chance to flinch as well, but really would not like to take damage here. Good. I could use Flame Wheel on because I'm in Blaze, but after that Geodude, which I thought was going to die, I'm not going to take any chances and just go with Lock Punch. This fight, which I'll be using headbutt on, so again, flinch or crit would be nice. Or hit the range. Okay, so here's two back-to-back -back fights. They're generally okay. Um, I'll 
I'll be faster and I'll one-hit everything. There is one poke on the second fight that is a range 50, around 50-50. But he can't even kill me with a critical from here, so... Pretty safe. Not sure if Blaze Flame Wheel would kill this Kadabra, but... I don't think it would, actually. I'm not even in Blaze right now, I think that's... So if this thing uses Growl, if I miss the range or don't flinch or don't crit, I have to use Bulk Up, unfortunately. That's good. Okay, so this guy gives us the bike voucher, effectively. That's what the bike B ticket is. I also got the Poké Nav, which is the worst thing ever. I do also get a free heal, which is nifty, but... Poké Nav means lots of phone numbers and phone calls are coming. A lot of the phone calls come very randomly as well, so... Not uh, inopportune times. So I'm gonna pick up an Everstone from this guy. I don't know if I actually need it, but I do need one for sure. So I will be coming back here later and possibly picking up a second one. Okay, so a couple quick things to do before we go to the gym. Let's go to the mart. I'm gonna buy some super potions. Uh, wait, hold on. I was supposed to buy six. Yes, escape rope. Nope. I do have an extra repel as well, so I probably could have skipped one of the super repels. So here I could I could hit the trainer who's running. Okay, that's good. No point in repelling just for one tile. Now that I got the bike. and teleport. The gym leader's not in the gym, so I have to go find her first.
we'll see how this split goes. I got the Aber first try, but had a hard time finding an Echoes, so. Hopefully we'll be able to break even. At the very least. Should be ahead by a tiny amount. Little gym puzzle here, nothing too complicated. So this fight's a breeze, I do have to set up one bulk up, but her lead can troll a little bit, so hopefully that doesn't happen. Okay, so I can't get through here without flash, so obviously that's fine. Yeah, that was really bad. Okay, so put on the cherry berry. Uh, I'll save that regular repel and move up these guys.
that very often. But I do see static very often. Okay, there's one more life trick that might paralyze me coming up here. That's a good, uh, Oko. One in four range. That's really annoying. Okay, so I'll mock punch the next thing coming out. Um, usually I do anyway, but at least I have a lot of priority if I'm not fully paralyzed. Okay. So I'll have to get that paralysis. This is a phone call that always happens. But I guess I think it's step dependent where it, where it happens, but. This fight isn't too bad, but it can get bad if this Natu uses the leader. That should be that it's very very unlikely to go so my health is also very high so this print flop nose drill pack lynch good so a crit from his drill pack will uh, one hit one hit me so that fight actually is pretty bad So this gym won't be the next gym, this is actually the seventh gym. But I have to come here for plot purposes, and also to get this, uh, the go goggles. Okay, one thing to do here before I leave. Pick up this rare candy. I do have an item on the zigs again, I'll check that out later. And now we just make our way back through here. I do have to repel. Remember to repel here though. Thank you. 
That's really annoying. Don't ever usually see that. picking up more heal powders and dropping energy powders as well, so we'll see about that. Okay, so another phone number for this dude. Headbutt on her. I have to. She shouldn't. Why do you have three pokes though? That's annoying. Unfortunately, this experience is completely useless. Although I might get a level before. Rosalia actually gives a lot of experience to me. experience may be helpful, actually. Oh, it's another phone number. I am going to be candying up here, and that trainer gave me quite a bit of extra experience, which... Which will be useful. I don't know if I'll level to 31 after... Actually, no, I'm going to be... Am I candying? Yeah, candying, I want to candy to 31 and then candy. Or level to 31 and then candy. So maybe after this next fight I'll get it.
center in here for a warp point later. So having an extra level helps for the fight after this one, because I will be... Which is a 50-50 range. At level 31. Or level 30, rather, but now I'm level 33. The problem is now I don't have any mock punches left for... The next guy. Actually, I'll probably just... I've got a really good idea, actually. So I'm gonna have to heal for the gym leader anyway, but this guy has... his lead is... Pretty scary if you don't want to uh, flinch him. But now that I have close combat, I'll just use that instead. I'm not gonna take recoil damage anyway, so he will kill me. And then I'll just headbutt the last thing. So I actually save a headbutt as well, which is good. This fight is pretty brutal, so he's got two his first two pokes have static. I will be equipping a cherry berry, but they also have the moves that can paralyze, so that's not particularly nice to get. And I'll just also use a potion. Just to be safe, and then I'll be speed. I will be saving. And normally I can be right here before this guy. But since I got hit that extra trainer, I was able to candy a bit earlier. So I have to set up two bulk ups and an X speed on this Elekid. This Elekid has light screen, low kick, spark, shockwave. So light screen turn one is, is good. I just want to see low kick now. Good. Give me another one. Good. Good. Now I just need to headbutt. Hey, Cram. Thank you very much for the good luck. Since my health is very high, I can close combat this thing. And even if it has static, I will be okay. Close combat this thing. And now I have Blaze for this mega. Yep, this is the game with the Abra. Steps were kind of weird, but I managed to make it up and got the uh, got the Abra first try. Okay, that was an exceptionally good Watson fight. So now I need to get strength. So in order to go to get strength, this girl totally just walked past me. I have to get this Poke Block case. Oh, where am I going?
box heal, and then safari zone to get straight. Oh, almost perfect movement. Yes, this is the real mock bike. Not the uh, sluggish mock bike in Crystal Dust. So what I used to do is I used to retire. Oh, I used to retire from the Safari Zone and then and then teleport once I leave the Safari Zone. But now if I just leave the house, I can teleport. So that saves a little bit of time. Oh. Yep, Ekans can learn strength. Intimidate is actually slower than and not very useful than not. So this one actually doesn't have Intimidate. It has whatever Ekans' second ability is. to the next town. No, the Lapras is automatic, thankfully. So it's kind of like the, sh the boat in, uh, in Emerald. And Ruby Sapphire. Mr. Briney's boat. So these fights are the fights all about rough skin and recoil damage. I take recoil and or rough skin damage on every poke in these free fights. Okay, I do not want this thing to use protect. Good. There's no lucky egg in this game. Unfortunately. If there was, it would be it would be pretty good. <laughs> I actually need to set up my XP so that my slave gets some because if I um I want to hold on to a stronger move before I replace it with a slightly weaker move. So if I get too much experience, then I end up 
having to use the weaker move, and it's kind of scary. Uh, Lucky Egg was added in Gen 4, I believe. Actually, no, it was in Gen 3, but it just wasn't easy to find, because it was only on Chansey's. Whereas... Um, Gen 4, you actually get it. Actually, you still get it from a Chansey, but you can now you can then manip it. So, like in Diamond. I don't know what they do in Platinum, if they manip lucky egg in that. Or am I thinking of... Yeah, no, Diamond Pearl definitely has the lucky egg in it. Okay, so I want to put Snake on top. Yep, it's uh, on the Chansey in the Safari Zone, except you can't realistically get it for a speedrun, because manipping is... encounters is not really a thing in Fire Red. Okay, so I'm gonna close combat the Cryogonal here. I'm gonna get to pretty low health, and to make sure that his Sneasel doesn't kill me, I'm gonna use Abra's... Why is Abra on the top? It doesn't really matter. Abra's turn to heal the... Um... Monferno. Oh, that's right, yep. Yeah. I forgot about that for Platinum. And then I flame wheel this. Okay, Abra's dead, that's fine. Zigzagoon has a uh, pickup, so I wonder what item it picked up. Yeah, so in this game, close combat does recoil instead, which is good because you can manipulate your HP for Blaze. It's bad, obviously, because you take more damage. Oh, that's the wrong way. Put out the citrus berry here because I'm going to be using close combat a lot. And I'm going to be uh, in cheap powder. And then I think I'm okay up to this potion. I don't need to go to fully full. And I'll also waste some time and pick up this item, which is an antidote. Abra wasn't supposed to even be in that fight, actually. It was supposed to be Ekans. Because Intimidate's also helpful for the Sneasel. So hopefully this thing only uses Thin once. Good. Okay, so Flame Wheel's special. Obviously, Bulk Up doesn't work on... In fact, it boosts up Flame Wheel, but it boosts up Close Combat. And even though it's a stab move... 120 power, and I'm all against ice types. I still need to set up a bulk up because not all of these things will die to close combat without a setup in the turn. Specifically, I think the. Pile of Swine will not die. And I equipped the Citrus Berry because if I use close combat right now, I would, uh, I would faint. I would still win the fight, but I would lose out on a bit of experience. Which actually, considering I picked up a lot of extra experience because I hit an extra trainer, I could have maybe gone for the death, but then I would have lost my revive, so probably that was a good idea to not go for that. And now, evolution.
Yeah, so some of the Gen 3 hacks actually do have the physical special split, but this one is very old, so it does not. Because, uh, Infernape would be a monster if Flame Wheel was a physical attack. Okay, that's four badges down. Unfortunately, in classic... Oh my god, what am I doing? In classic Pokemon ROM hack style, four badges is usually you get pretty fast, and then you have a bunch of plot before you can get to the end of the game. Oh, where am I going? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so Blaze here is helpful for this fight because I believe this one or both of these guys do not die to Flame Wheel without Blaze. I really hope I don't take that no quick attack as well. Dealing with energy powder here because the next fight I'll be using close combat twice, so I won't be taking some damage. And I want to obviously not faint. Okay, good. No mock punch from Monferno. If Buck. Monferno uses Mock Punch, I believe I will just live after all the close combats. Yeah. I will just live. If, I, if he crit, then I wouldn't go, obviously. I would have to heal. And now I've got Torrent or Blaze again. I don't think it matters quite so much. So for some reason, this game, Cut is a flying move. And it's Air Cutter. is really good because I'll be using close combat on something coming up and I don't really want to heal until I whoop until I uh, get as low health as possible this girl is annoying but fine PP max I'm actually going to be using it as a for its intended purpose rather than selling it because close combat doesn't have a lot of PP so Zigzagoon is radioactive there. Not quite sure why. Okay, so... Oh.
could have bought another full heal, but that's okay. Oh my god, what am I doing? This run is very hard to do well because it's a very long run and you have the mock bike for three quarters of it. <laughs> close combating this thing here. And I will live on seven. Poison point is fine, I'm gonna heal anyway. Level 38 here is actually really good because the next fight is kind of annoying. Next fight, I'll take less damage. Okay, so heal. Where are my antidotes? Use the energy roots. up a rare candy here. Running indoors would be super nice, because then you could manipulate spinners indoors, but you have to bag manip everything. So the next fight is against Courtney. lead is annoying. It's a gold bat that has wing attack and confuse ray. And she also heals if she goes under half health, so I should be able to two hit her with headbutt, but because she'll heal if I do go for headbutt turn one, I'm actually going to go bulk up twice to guarantee it. Despite screwing up all that movement, I still do a bit. Okay, the next like five minutes is like a lot of walking around and cutscenes. Which is kind of 
kind of brutal. And unfortunately I can't dig or escape rope out of here, so I have to walk ever so slowly. Stop calling me. And that's the girl I fought by accident, so. Continuing to get burned by hitting an extra trainer. So now I have to go all the way to the top of this floor just to do a cutscene and then leave. Here I get the Master Ball. This is actually a very useful item because I will need one more HM friend. And... Oh, get out of my way. And having the Master Ball is useful because then I don't have to worry about weakening it. Yep, the halls are random, unfortunately. There's a few that actually will happen, like, every time. They're, like, scripted, but the rest are pretty much random. I want to be 
careful I don't hit this trainer. Could use that extra super repel there, I think. Okay, I didn't want to go through that much grass. Okay, repel. Okay, this fight can be kind of annoying. So he has a Hippodon, which is super bulky, so I have to set up three times to be able to kill it with close combat. Uh, his lead has Confuse Ray, uh, Flamethrower, which is fine, and has a move called Cosmic Beam, which is super effective and raises its defense. The defense isn't a huge issue, it's more the super effective uh, effect. So Confuse Ray turn one is kind of annoying, because that means he'll probably use it again. Walk up to... There's Cosmic Beam. Just don't do Cosmic Beam again, and then we're fine. Fuse Ray, that's annoying, I have to heal that. So where are you? Any heal powders. That's annoying, I have to heal. Because Hippodon... Have, uh, <clears throat> gives me recoil damage and also uh, has Sandstream, so that will take some damage. Can you stop doing that? Like, you have other moves to you. Know. Okay, I guess I got a full heal. Dude, what are you doing? Okay, that should be okay. And then I headbutt. Uh, yes, it is based on damage dealt. It's one third, I believe. So I've checked all the trainer data, so I know how much recoil damage they deal. So I can heal if, uh, if it feels safe. If it doesn't feel safe, rather. This thing is quick attack, but I don't anticipate it would do enough to be a problem. I'm going to heal anyway. Oh, I can skip the elixir here. That's really good. Okay, so this area is really annoying coming up. Um, it's raining, so flame wheel is pretty useless, and it's also kind of a maze of, of a forest. And there's lots and lots of Team Aqua members. There is an elixir I usually grab here, but since I picked up an elixir in a rock smash rock earlier, I will be skipping it. Just gotta make sure I do the right, go the right path now. Okay, I wanna make sure I do not hit both of those guys at the same time. Because experience is sharing is not that good. These guys also have a lot of gold bats as well, which deal a lot of damage. So it's not a fun time. Oh, did you hear a Nidoran cry? I don't know if I heard, I can't remember hearing one. It might not even be a Nidoran, because some of the cries in this game are messed up, so there's some pokes that might have the Nidoran cry, which aren't actually Nidoran. So for example, Shinx has a Beetle cry for some reason. Why are you using Confuser? Are you annoying? Turd. I've used so many full heals and heal powders so far in this run, it's ridiculous. Okay, how much recoil damage? Okay, I'm fine. So this Seedra I have to use close combat on, and I equip the Petra Berry because Seedra has... Close 
uh, poison point. The one standing all over the forest, really? I'm not sure if those are Nidorans. Okay. Yeah, you're probably they're probably flowers. <laughs> I was like, what? What's this guy talking about? Okay, this gold bat is it might not actually be a range now because I'm not sure if I'm normally level 40 for him or level 39. But oh yeah, that's totally fine. And Astonish is really good too because that means I don't have to heal for the next fight. Okay, so flinches are, flinches are really good for the next fight, because both of the this guy's pokes are two hits with headbutt, and both of them are very scary. Yeah, sorry if my, like, internet is so bad that those flowers look like Nidorans. The stream is not a great quality. Flinch? No... Crit. Okay. Should be fine unless. Yeah. So, next up is Tentacruel. A crit from Bubble Beam will kill if he decides to use it. I don't think they have good AI, but. Okay. Just a critical. Okay. Oh, wait. Hold on. I haven't accounted for the rain. Clearly my notes haven't accounted for the rain. Do I need this revive? I don't think I do. It's just a nice thing to have. Okay, this, these things, this guy in this fight is probably one of the worst things to deal with as an Infernape. <laughs> Gyarados with Intimidate, and I can only use physical moves on it. And the only physical move that's really good is Headbutt. Blenches are great. Crits are also very good. Dragon Rage is fine. Down left.
my movement is a bit sloppy here since it's that's something I practice often, clearly. So this health is a little bit a little monka, I think. But it should be okay. I don't think I'll be hitting 42 after this fight. So close combat on this than this guy. So wing attack critical from this guy. If I don't flinch or crit him or hit this range, we'll kill. So very favorable to not die here. Yeah, that's fine. And then my one use of flame wheel, since that will definitely hold that. Your crit, please. It's annoying. Wait, which which ROM hack is it, are you talking about? Is that the one that you suggested I reach out to the guy for? I don't know if it was you or who. who uh... But Lynch. a little bit weird. I'm, I, I should candy after this trainer here. 
but I'm actually gonna fight him and then candy, even though I could candy now, because I just hit level 43. And the reason for that is I don't want to be getting or going over the experience that I need to get. And because I hit an extra trainer, I actually picked up a bit too much experience earlier. Yeah, he ended up sending it to me anyway. Are you talking about Motorola Wristwatch? That's what his, the guy's name was on Discord. So now I will heal full Are you candies. Fire Dance is crap because it's Fire Spin. And nobody likes Fire Spin. No, oh, no worries. I, um, he ended up sending me that ROM hat with the ROM anyway, if I recall correctly. But I haven't had a chance to check it out yet. If you're talking about the guy whose name on Discord is Motorola Wristwatch. Lynch. These gold bats, man. Absolutely screwing me. On this split, I've used five, like, full heals and heal powders. It's insane. and expected. Oh, okay. Wasn't sure if we were talking about the same guy. Talk to someone twice. Great stuff. Putting on a citrus berry here. And I uh, get a free heal from this guy, so I don't need to heal. So in this fight, I'm actually going to be killing off all of my HM friends. Because there's a double battle coming up in the gym. Which is extremely annoying. If you do it as a double, but if you have only one poke in your party, it becomes two singles. That are back-to-back -back fights. So it's considerably more consistent to just... Have Maxi take out 
the rest of your slaves. Unfortunately, my Abra, which had fainted earlier, is has been revived, so I still have to faint all three of my folks, not just two. Okay, right now a crit or flinch would be fantastic. Air slash double critical, good. Citrus berry, because I will be using close combat a couple times. Okay, so I'm camera up is much more consistent at killing my slaves. Just perfect enough that I'll survive recoil from two close combats. And I will get Blaze, and Blaze is very good for the gym. That thing has Flame Body, I'm fairly sure, too, so. How much of that ROM hack is completed, by the way? I don't recall if I asked... Asked Oak that. That's really weird. I don't know what that's all about. run or even bike this puzzle, but that would be insane. Like, a task of that puzzle would be... would be insane to see, because you'd, you'd be biking that, biking that puzzle <laughs> super quick. Oh, three gyms, okay. So apparently there's going to be a sequel to Pocket Gaiden. I think you've seen me play that game on stream. But uh, it's coming out like three days after the marathon, so I'm very much looking forward to that. I'll probably play it uh, blind on stream. Hopefully it's a good speed run as well. Yeah, the uh, the creator says it's bigger and better than the first one, which is pretty cool. It 
it's gonna be a whole new game, but it's gonna probably be a sequel, so there hopefully the story will be uh, continued. Also, hi Shaman. Hi Shaman. So I anticipate it's gonna be like now the character lead character is living in this big city, and so something is gonna be happening there. Because in the first one, he's trying to move to the big city. surprised to hear he was releasing the game so soon because he he told me previously that his next game wouldn't be out for a while but I guess a while was like full five months so <laughs> but considering it came out pretty quickly after the first one because the first one only came out in February I assume it's gonna be short because ROM hacks usually take a very long time to make either that or he's got a lot of time on his hands Screw up the puzzle. Okay, so these guys are annoying to do as a double, but now they're singles and I they all died of fleas wing wheel. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. He probably just had a lot of free time because of COVID. Depending on the depending on like people's situations, some people might even be busier during COVID because they might be doing things they wouldn't be doing otherwise. Like for example, like I'm I'm looking for jobs, so I'm doing a lot of like online training and courses and stuff for like software and other things. These guys all died a flame wheel, which is beautiful. And then the gym leader is the same thing, it's just spam flame wheel. So it's really nifty because you can set up your HP just right so that you get this HP every time. The only difference would be is if the gold bat, Maxi's gold bat misses, or um, well, if he crits, you're kind of screwed, but if he misses his Air Slash, then um, you have to use Bulk Up on something. I don't remember which poke exactly. Oh no, you just use Close Combat on the first of the, uh, the first trainer's poke in this gym. And then you have another. Very sad that flamethrower is not accessible until post game because it would be so good to have. Because you need strength to get it. So you get strength fairly early, but it is a bit of a detour until you get fly. And Scissor luckily doesn't have bullet punch or anything like that. I think bullet punch didn't come out until Gen 4 anyway. So 
saving quite a bit of time here. Because the PB run had... I think it did that fight as a double, and so it was super, super slow. Okay. So now I need to heal because my next opponent is a Gyarados. But it was good to get the uh, Blaze for that fight. Okay, good thing I didn't take that first tile down because that would have gotten me as well. Okay, so. Uh, Charcoal, Propel, Surf to Zig. So Zig has entirely got HM or field moves. And I'm actually going to teleport to the town I'm in, and the reason for that is there's a cutscene with Scott, which I can skip if I do teleport, so that saves a tiny bit of time. Also, he randomly calls you later, and you're like, how the heck did you get my number? <laughs> uh, where are you going? Okay, let me make sure. Oh, shh. Went the wrong way. That is fine, I think. My repel might run out a bit early, which would be kind of annoying. I think I have an extra repel, though. But I don't know for sure. Okay, so this Gyarados is a 3-hit, unfortunately, because... So I have to close combat him twice and then headbutt. Twister is very good. He has Hydro Pump, so I don't want to see that. Also, for some reason, I don't have damage ranges from him in my notes, which is... This girl, unfortunately, unlike Emerald, she is not a spinner. I believe she's a spinner in Emerald. I know she is in Cops, but maybe not Emerald. I haven't played Emerald, so I have no idea. And unfortunately, Meryl, I have to close combat because Meryl is annoyingly bulky. So I'm going to surf right, and then there's a trainer that I'm just going to dodge. This guy. Ah, uh, okay, good. Rappel does just barely run out. Uh, do I take the center? that wrong. I was supposed to do a PC heal and take out Starly. So I'm just gonna withdraw now. So now all my slaves are fainted except for... Shit, I wasn't supposed to... Oh, that was so bad. Okay, we'll have to make something work here. And then I go to... So I wasn't supposed to revive my slaves, that was a mistake. Also, well, this area can have different um, features, like there's an icy island that this area can be in this area for some reason. I'm not sure why, what causes the uh, landscape to change. It's kind of odd.
damage. Since I'm gonna have to use close combat on a poke later instead of a flame wheel. This thing has protect, which is quite irritating. Good, it only used it once. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do about the slaves being painted. I guess I could dump Abra in the box. I need Rock Smash, though. This thing is a bit scary. Okay, so I literally come all the way here just to get the secret potion. And now I leave. Now I use my repel. And teleport back to Charpos. Or candy I grab. Thank you. 
So close combat this thing to get Blaze, and then I will enter Blaze now. And then I'll be... Should be fine. There's a fight trainer coming up, which is kind of annoying to deal with. So I might heal anyway for her. So the next poke is a 75% range with the charcoal, and if it uses high jump kick, I am dead. Please hit the range. Good. So I think that fight that I usually do is a double coming up, which I need to share experience on, I am probably going to have to kill off my three slaves there to ensure that they're all fainted for the following fight, which has to be done either as a double or if you have one poke in your party, it's just two singles. Okay, I'm gonna get off the bike here, because... This bit can be a bit annoying for movement. Flame wheel that thing. Now because I saved the flame wheel on Menacham, I can use Headbutt on this Revealia. Careful, I don't want to do this as a double. I'm speed tied with this thing. Please hit. That's annoying. Uh, what do I do here? Do I just go for headbutt again? I guess. Say, oh, really? This is where I just kill my slaves. Please hit. Good. Should be okay. I might be short a headbutt now, but it's not the end of the world. Double team and sand attack. What a move set. Thank <laughs> you. 
probably because I picked up the extra regular repel. So this thing I can have detect. Please do not use it. I'll probably have to switch to close combat if he does. Good. And I really want to keep this specific HP because the second fight from now deals 40 and recoil with close combat. So I don't want to heal, obviously. I want to hold on to this blaze as long as possible. But it probably isn't the end of the world if I... to Oko, so I'm good. It's a really silly place for the repel to run out, but... Alright, this guy has a pseudo-udo. So I will close combat this. And I have enough HP to tank a recoil. Okay, so I'm gonna heal here because I have to kill off three of my slaves. A double battle, and it cannot be fought as two singles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out the ninja -esk, and Abra is just gonna do whatever. Hopefully Swablu just goes for Abra, because that'll make my life a little bit easier. Also, hopefully Abra doesn't evolve. Maybe. Wow, thanks for missing. Okay, I'm going to Flame Wheel. Hopefully, I don't know what Flame Wheel does. Now please hit my Zigzagoon. Good. I'm gonna lose some time because of this, because I. Oh, hold on. Wheel. It's very key that I do not give. Do not um, take all the experience from the Swablu. Or not take all the experience from the, um, the Ninjask, rather. Also that I don't have any slaves still alive after this fight, because there's another double battle coming up, which I would very much prefer to do as two singles. So if I had done the PC heal instead of a nurse heal, I would have withdrawn just the one slave in the box, and then I would have just that fight as a joke. Cherry berry, though. 
to... Okay, well, I'll blaze after this. This next thing. And I want to have blaze for the... For two of the pokes coming up. So the Cherry is just for this Electric, because it is static. I could probably skip it and take the risk, but that's fine. Because the next thing will obviously be a pain in the butt if I'm with Blaze and get paralyzed. Hopefully I'm not short on Flame Wheels, because I used a few extras. Guy has a Weezing, which will only uh, one hit in Blaze. And it has a pretty gross move set to deal with, so. Would prefer not to. Alright, so. Gem number six coming up. So unlike in Emerald, this next double battle is much more ideally done as two singles because you don't really have a good uh, secondary Pokemon to actually be useful, like uh, Cast Form, so it's much more convenient to just do this as two. Okay, so headbutt twice this thing. Range, and now I've got headbutts, which is. Okay, that's good, that's actually 79% uh, range to two hits, so that's good. Uh, we'll headbutt this thing. Future sight, okay. Um, yeah, you know, we'll just do this. almost always use stockpile. I have lots of flame guys. I am good. Or it has knockoff as well. That's very rare to see. Thankfully the charcoal, that doesn't affect anything. And I close combat. Launch crow. Because this thing is big. Okay, next fight is against a Staraptor, which is absolutely terrifying. If I was in Blaze, I would be able to one-hit him in Blaze. It'd be a 15 and 16 range with Blaze and Charcoal, but because I'm not in Blaze, I have to heal the full. And... Uh, nope. 
Actually, we're not gonna do that. We'll heal safe for the gym leader, though. So if he crits me with wing attack, I'm dead. Hopefully I just one hit or or crit him with flame wheel. a pain. Actually, we'll hyper. So we're gonna hyper, teach Brick Break, because that'll be useful. Headbutt, and I will be saving. So I have to set up four bulk ups. You could go away with three, but things become ranges, they get two 50-50 ranges. So that's obviously not what I want to do. So she leads a Skarmory that likes to use, uh, well, likes to use spikes and agility. Uh, it uses agility until it's faster than you most of the time, and then it'll start using Aerial Ace. And Aerial Ace crit does a lot of damage. It doesn't kill from full, but it can kill um, if you've taken damage already. So hopefully we just see don't see, we might see Spike's turn 2, or turn 3. He will be faster than me after 2 agilities, though. Okay, so he'll be faster than me now. Spike's is good. 3. There's Aerial Ace. Okay. okay now he... Critical, take it. Okay, so that's a win. So this next thing has, has Intimidate, so that's part of the reason why I have to set up so much. Also, um, Skarmory is a bit bulky. And the last thing I have to use Close Combat on, and it's resistant, because uh, the last thing is a Pelipper. Looks like I might actually loot, um, save time despite the nonsense of killing my slaves. Uh, actually, maybe not. It'll be close. It depends on what the speed a Pelipper does. If the Pelipper just doesn't do anything, then we're fine. Okay, that's annoying. I'm still saving time, but... Oh, lots of time, actually. I thought I was off by a minute. So I split there, but I think I was supposed to split when she actually gives me the badge, because she hasn't given me the badge yet. I feel like I'm supposed to repel here, or split here, rather. When I get the badge. Okay, 
There we go. Let's go with old split. Okay, so gotta get a few items to get to the next area. Which are in this town. Or to get to the next item, which will get you to the next area. So this is a scripted phone call. I go in here to get the tea, which I need to get at a specific item later. And now I'm going to go get fly, which will allow me to get to that spot. Oh, I went the wrong way. No, that was the right way all along. This lady gives you fly. I don't think my rep did my repel run out. I think it did. There's two ways to get to the next town that I'm about to go to. One is to go to the town I was just in, where the gym was, and go through a route. The other way is much quicker. It involves flying back to the first gym town and not screwing up movement like this. But cutting across this lake. And you also get a very nifty max elixir. I screwed up that movement, but that's fine. So now I get the scope, and the scope is needed to get into the seventh gym. Hey Pickle, thanks for the good luck. How's it going? I can only get one potion, that's fine. Oh, it sucks, man. Sorry to hear. Do you do those races often? It seems like there's a lot of races going on. Okay, so here's a nice, convenient little mud kip because I'm going to need a Pokemon to learn dive and waterfall, so... 
got a Master Ball for that. Oh, nice, nice pickle emote. I also saw you got affiliate, so congrats on that. So this gym will look very familiar. Oh, that's sweet. Oh yeah, and the Diglett as well. Some, for some reason I saw the pickle first. Don't know why. Um, they're okay. They're not super zoomed in, so it's uh, it's fine. Okay, so this gym, very much like Emerald, is very bad if I screw up the puzzle. This, this game is based on Emerald, clearly, and a lot of the puzzles are... A lot of the gyms are very similar, but the trainers are a bit different. Okay, so I have to set up two bulk-ups on this thing. It can use Earthquake or Water Pulse or Rain Dance. So we'll see what he does. He goes for Rain Dance. Bulk-up number two. Just use... And don't crit and don't... Perfect. So I'm gonna have to use close combat, and in this game, close combat deals recoil damage, so... I want my health to be not too low after the Plague Sire. She also says the exact same thing that Wallace and Juan say. Or is it Juan or Wallace and Emerald? I'm not sure. But she has the same dialogue. <laughs> side quest to switch off the generator. Okay, so big menu here. So we're going to put on... Okay, I guess... Well, what am I doing? Uh, there's quite a bit of story, actually, right now, actually, Cram. I'm going to put the Everstone on my Mudkip, and you will see why in a second, and I will move... What else am I doing? Max Elixir. And then I'll move these things up as well. That was a super slow menu. Fly to this town, I think. Yeah. Oh, 
there's a massive uh, Team Aqua sequence coming up. Because I am a bit of a pansy, I'm going to use Flash. And save. Yes, I know, I'm going to save for some crumbling tiles. <laughs> but I really don't want to fall down. Okay. Oh wait, am I doing this way? I screwed up the movement. So this is to get dive. I don't need it just yet. And to get out of here, I can just simply exit. And now I fly back to the town. which will be useful not for money, but for actually using it. <laughs> and now we're in Meteor Falls. Alright, rival fight. One of the rivals. So this guy actually doesn't deal physical moves, so it's actually better to just use X attacks instead of bulk ups here, so that's why I bought X attacks. Because I'm keeping bulk up for the entire game. But I'm going to set up two bulk ups here. Hopefully he just keeps using flamethrower. He always protects turns three for some reason. He's a jerk. set up so much is because of this thing, which I hate very much. gym is, or the next, the last final gym is the second split I have coming up, so the Gima split. So there's like 50 more minutes, or 45 minutes of plot. <laughs> or maybe less if I save time on it. So first I have to like, turn off the generator here, and then there's a massive Team Aqua sequence I have to do. actually bike in here, but I always mess up my movement, so...
So I need to encounter this thing in order to hit this switch that he's on later. And running. except the mock bike is not doesn't really do well in tight corridors. So unless you're very good with it, which I am not. Okay. So the next part is a massive team aqua sequence where I'm gonna be fighting the same trainer a bunch of times. Or they have the same exact same team. Yeah, so this guy we fight um, six times. He has the exact same pokes, they have the exact same stats. So it's pretty much the same strats for the fight, except my fire move is going to get upgraded a little bit when I hit level 57. Unfortunately, in a not-so-good way. But also a good way. This, these Seedras also all have Poison Point, so having Petra Berries is very nice, and have not having the Petra Berry activate is good, so that's good. And their third poke is a Gyarados, which is always a two-hit unless you critical, and they, all, they have Hydro Pump, which does a lot of damage. So this is a very fun fight. Also, they have Intimidate, which is obviously a pain in the butt. They always want to see Twister or Leer, which is good. Okay, I don't need to heal for the next fight. bunch of switches to make these spinning tiles go in a specific path, and each time I hit a switch I have to f fight an electrode. So I just run. Right up. So this split can go really poorly if you get a lot of bad moves from the Pokes, especially the Gyarados. Or you get poisoned a lot from Poison Point. Luckily, I don't need to hit the next switch, because I can simply walk and bypass it. Oh, 
Oh shit. Did he get record? I noticed he was going going for uh going for record again. Oh that sucks. How far off was he? Oh, so just Yeah, so he's still like 40 seconds away or so from Pulse. Pulse is a pretty high tomb too, I think. Yeah. That's still pretty good. It's good to see. That time's come down so much recently, it's crazy. Okay, if this crits, I'm dead. Good. That's a game I've been meaning to pick up at some point as well. Okay, teaching Fire Blast over Flame Wheel. That's crazy. I guess, yeah, Pulse must have had a really good uh, Elite Four. I'll have to check out his, uh, his run later. Is always a pain with uh, hail. I think I'm supposed to take this one, and then I fight you. All right, so this is our old friend. It's the same guy we just fought twice. This time I have to use Fire Blast on Bulbat. I really, really do not want to miss it. This missing is. Also, Air Slash is really bad. Missing once is bad. Actually, missing twice is really bad, because then you just literally run out. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully the Gyarados is nice and doesn't do anything. Didn't lose the Petra, which is good. Critting at like one of the Gyaradoses is very good as well because you save a close combat and it's obviously faster. But saving the move is very nice. Just don't hydro pump. Good. Okay, so I don't need to heal for the next fight. Grunt has a different team, and she's not that bad. Okay, friendo, please hit the fire blast. Good. Okay, 
Oh, still haven't lost the Petra. That's really good. Okay, so again. Leer or Twister, please. Good. Yeah, you run Fire Red too, right? As well, Pickle Plot? I think I recall you playing it at some point. Oh, nice. That's a pretty solid time. Yeah, that game is pretty brutal. <laughs> I've watched I watched Gunner when he was on his like original grind when he first got record. So I've seen I've seen what that can do to people. Uh where am I going here? Back at some point, yeah. Emerald is a lot more fun, it would seem. Alright, just wanted another fire blast here. That would be great. Good. So yeah, this section is incredibly dry and boring. Okay, so there goes the Petra Berry, that's fine. I don't think I need to put on another one, though. Because usually I expect to put this, equip two of them in this section. Yeah, crit here would be good. No. Hydro Pump. Critical does not kill. So I'll be fine to keep for the next fight. Unfortunately, I did not get a crit on any of the Gyaradoses, because it would be nice to have an extra close combat for the next fight. But I can, uh... It should be workable. Alright, so now that we've hit all these switches, we can now open up a new area. Okay, so the next is a battle that is a double, and I could fight these guys as singles and have Mudkip not be in the party or faint it. However, I'll get too much experience, um, and I'll, you'll see why later, why that's an issue. So I do do this one as a double. Mudkip is actually somewhat useful because um, he does deal some chip damage, which is actually really helpful. 
So I'm gonna close combat you, and you're gonna take down you. Tentacruel is a range, but it's very favorable. Okay, it's fine. Hit Mudkip, good. Hit through, good. No, it doesn't really matter on the Gyarados, or the Golbat, actually. Alright, now I Fire Blast you, and now you... Um, I guess just do whatever. And get the Fire Blast, which is good. Okay, so because I only have one Close Combat, I have to use a Brick Break on the Gyarados. And Close Combat plus Brick Break is a range, so Mudkip really, sh really wants... Uh, I really want the Mudkip to hit. Or I crit. Close Combat. Hit through, please. Hit miss. Good. Hit this. Good. Okay, that'll, that'll, that'll do. I don't know what the range is, but it's... Actually, it's, it's a 44% range without the takedown, so it's pretty good. And... Now Mudkip's got to level, gone to level 31, but he's because he's holding an Everstone, he doesn't evolve. And the Everstone is a very small inconvenience to get. It's like talking to a trainer who's, or a guy who's slightly out of the way. All right. Heal to full. Use Elixir. Personberry. Dive to Mudkip. Okay. So Matt can be a bit annoying. He leads a Gold Bat, which has Air Slash Wing Attack. I have to set up a bulk up here and then use Fire Blast on him. Because I need an attack boost for his last two. Confuse Ray is great because I have a Prison Berry. Now I just need to hit the Fire Blast. He went for Confuse Ray again. Wow. That's a good surprise. Okay, that's fine. Just hit the Fire Blast. Good. Okay, that's fine. I think I need like maybe one or two more fire blasts so I can afford to miss one, although it is scary. Tentacruel. And Cloister. Cloister, I guess, is very bulky, so. I think the bulk up is mainly for the Tentacruel. Can you not do that, please? But if you didn't set up, you'd probably have to use close combat on the Cloister, because it's got high defense. Okay, nice gold again. Okay, so that's part one of the Aqua sequence. Now there is another part. We get to fight Archie. Stop talking to me. because I didn't take any damage, so repel. Also, that was so inconvenient because I have to scroll all the way back down for this. And uh, that's it. And I 
can't teleport. This teleporting is faster than flying to this town. And conveniently, I can still teleport back here. Oh, that one works for steps. up clearly all right so this area is very look look familiar to emerald players out there it's a little bit different the puzzles are a bit different there's some extra trainers that you have to fight but it's more or less the same area All right, this thing, I have to use Fire Blast. Please hit. Good. Yeah, I have to hit two more Fire Blasts. A little bit frightening. Okay, so close combat on Gyarados. So this area, there's no trainer to dodge, which is nice. And you can bike through that rock for some reason. It's probably faster to run actually here. I will be running in a bit though. This area, there's a double battle, which I do not want to do as two du as a double. So, all right, round two against Shelly. And naturally, I have to lead with Fire Blast. Hit, good, okay. Second guy is a bit scary as well, but luckily no fire blasts are needed. His next poke's a Gyarados, which is a two-hit range with close combat. If it's a pretty low roll, I'll have to use bulk up. That looks like a pretty good roll, so I'll go for it. Hydro Pump is not good. Nice. Okay, so as you can see, I just barely am under level 61. If I hit level 61, I learn Heat Wave, which is a weaker fire move than Fire Blast. And I need Fire Blast on Archie's first Pokemon, because it will kill, whereas Heat Wave, I would need to be in Blaze or set up an X Special. So 
so it's very important that you don't get too much experience so that you hit level 61 early. Because I only have one Fire Blast, I'm going to save here. And if I miss the Fire Blast, I'll just reset. Because I wouldn't have anything else to defeat a Crobat with. So Crobat's Air Slash does a lot of damage, so I don't want to see that. He does like half my health with Air Slash. I did hit an optional, but it was before I candied. So I candied in the same place I normally do, to, uh, and then the experience is more or less taken care of at that point. Okay, hit the grow bat. Great. Goodbye. And so Heat Wave is a little weaker than Fire Blast, but it's a little bit more accurate, and it has more PP, which is the most important thing. So I'm going to set up on this Omastar. The Omastar has moves that can kill, but it, because I'm high health, it'll just go for uh, Protect. So I need, just need to set up once. And, oh nice, he failed there, that's good. And close combat twice on the Gyarados. This one does not have Hydro Pump, it has Waterfall, which is a little bit weaker. And Waterfall is not a physical move in this game, so it's not nearly as scary on a Gyarados, and a critical hit is also very good. That was very solid. So the story is somewhat different, but also very different than Emeralds. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can get any of the legendaries, but Infernape is pretty solid, so... It's possible that you could get one, I have to check. It would be probably... I don't even know which poke it would be. Giratina or Dialga, but neither of them are particularly great. Okay, so we repel, fly to this place. So this is the area I caught the Abra in. I already fought all these trainers, so well, not the spinner, but so I can just blitz past them. This guy is particularly uh, low level because you can actually fight him earlier, but you don't really need to, so I'm just going to smash him with Heat Wave. Unfortunately, Mudkip doesn't have very good moves, otherwise I'd just use Mudkip for this to save uh, Heat Wave PP, and also Heat Wave can miss, so... Easier. Oh my god, my movement is so bad. Play the trainer. Okay, I won't, do not want to fight you. And I fight you. Okay. 
This trainer is a little bit higher level, but still not a problem. puzzle in the dark. I'm gonna use a no, I'll just use a hyper, that's fine. The potion. Use that PP Max I picked up earlier on Heat Wave. Teach Waterfall. Yeah, that was a very suboptimal menu because I have to go back here and use the escape rope. I could have done that section earlier, but might as well do it now, since it's easier. And the next town's actually between where I am now and the town that I'm flying to, but I have to... Ah! Up here. I fought this bug catcher earlier, but since I had already fought him... Oh, it's raining. Uh, what do I do? I believe. I wasn't paying attention. Dude, why is it stop raining? Luckily I have extra repels, but this is... Not raining anymore? Ugh. Because I have to use Heat Wave uh, for a fight coming up here. And uh, obviously if it's raining, it will do nothing. extend out this whole next section, or if it's just for the first little bit. Because if it's just for the first little bit, I probably could just use Brick Break instead. I think that's probably what I should look into doing. Actually, two of these pokes I norm I will be using Heat Wave on. So I'd have to switch to Brick Break for both of them, probably. Pass with the Rattata try. is sort of sitting in the middle of the route. Even though I, like, right now where I am is, like, directly south of the town, I can't fly into the town. Which is really odd. Also, thankfully, Heat Wave is not a contact move, so this Grey Looms effect Spore won't do anything.
Of course, we have to fight a Pokemon breeder who has six pokes. Do quite a few heat waves here, too, so I really do not want this. even more of my time, she gives me her phone number. So there are a few trainers here I want to avoid. Napoleon, for some reason, loves to use Protect and nothing else. So even though I'm nice and juicy with 86 health left, he will go for Protect. Good fail. harmless, but it's annoying to miss. Good. Also, shoutouts to Rampardos with Executor Cry. Unfortunately, this last thing has uh, Intimidate as well, so I have to set up my attack again to one-hit it. Um, I'm just going to use the next attack. Usually just use Ember, which does nothing. And now Close Combat will put me into Blaze. Which is 50 for... Okay, so this gym is also very familiar. Oh shoot, I totally forgot where this guy was going to be. two Brick Breaks left, which I don't think I do, then I can use Brick Break on these fights. Oh, I have one. Uh, you're less scary than the next thing, so I'll just heat wave on you.
So this gym is the dark gym, so I'm at a pretty good advantage here. I have to heal for this fight because there is a poke with Sandstream. Also, I need to use Max Elixir to get my power points back. Everything is a one hit except for his last, which is a range. I could use close combat on his last to guarantee the kill, but then I lose some health. I imagine if I miss. If I miss uh, the range, I'll just switch to close combat. Unfortunately, the Umbreon has leftovers, otherwise it would die to Brick Break. Good. Taking quite a bit of time, I'm not quite sure why. Alright, Victory Road. And then Elite Four, and then we're done. So Victory Road is like the same as Emerald. Trainers are a bit different.
so the key for Victory Road is to get Blaze. So I'll be setting that up on the next fight. Hopefully I'll be fine for heat waves. So I'll do close combat on Gardevoir and Luxray. If I had crept the Snorlax, that would have been good. Okay, so this fight, I could not do this, but I'm going to use an X accuracy just to make sure I don't miss. The shuckle doesn't do anything. enough. 
this fight I have to hit two heat waves, and it's possible I could die, so I really need to hit them. But I have revives for that. Okay, this has to be on. This is scary. Quick attack is fine. That's actually really good, because if I miss, then I would have another shot at it. Luckily, Jinx is okay to use Brick Break on. I don't know if I need to do this, but really not. Pretty good idea. Okay, I do not want to do this as a double. <laughs> here. Good. I got a couple big boys to take out here. Do it. Good. Hit. Good. Okay. That thing has protect and it has also pressure, so I do not want to lose a lot of heatwave PP. There, so that's excellent. Okay. Nice repel timing. I have no more hypers. Okay. Final rival fight. Okay, so this guy um, leads a Nine Tails. That isn't terribly bad, but um, I have to set up three times on it because he has Hepowden. And I'm using X Attacks is faster. Use Ray Turn 1 is annoying. Heat Wave is fine. Again would be great. No, why do they always every single fight that's had this Persenberry, if they take the Persenberry and then they confuse me again. It's actually extremely irritating. Okay, hopefully my HP is fine. Now I have to 
be a lift sandstorm. Let's break this thing. So if there is actually a poke that's even bulkier than the Hippodon to deal with. Actually, my health is pretty good. slow with the extra confused, but overall that was fine. Alright. So I want to finish this run, so I'm saving. <laughs> okay, so this fight is kind of interesting. I have to set up twice on Whiskash. It has Earthquake. is kind of interesting, but it's fine. Just don't critical. Good. Try that again. yet. I still have to hit a heat wave, but... And also, Sandstorm's a bit annoying. So ideally, he just Earthquakes me twice, and then I get bla uh, Blaze right away. But I have to set up Blaze on the next poke.
Okay, now I have to heat wave this Gliscor. Hit. Good. Okay. It's all good. And now, I want to set up a specific HP for the next fight, so I'm actually going to close combat the Swampert, and I'm going to faint. I have a slave. So I still win the fight. So this guy, his name is a Deku, but he's obviously someone else. But anyway, so I'm gonna leave close combat on his first two. I used to set up on Darmanitan, but Darmanitan has got very good attack, and it also has Earthquake, which is not fun. So I'll close combat on him. And I will close combat on him, and I will have exactly one HP. Now because I have the Charcoal and Blaze, this Volcarona is uh, 15 and 16 range with Heat Wave. Next is a Infernape with Mock Punch, so I will have to heal. So if I didn't, if I healed a bit more, I probably like to start the fight. I would, I would probably have not healed with a hyper, and I would have likely. Oh, where am I doing here? Full restore. Um, had low enough HP on Typhlosion to use close combat and faint. So I actually no don't normally get the experience from the Typhlosion. I'm gonna candy to 72, 71 here rather. This fight can be extremely trolly. guy is the Dragon Trainer. His lead loves to use double team. I would very much like to see Earthquake, so I have to set up two bulk ups. Okay, that's good. such a good miss. Okay, let's go that. I'm probably gonna have to heal at some point in the fight because I will be two hitting one of his pokes and it has not a very good move set. Okay, so break, break this. Okay, 
so he's probably gonna go for fly. Walk up again. Okay, let's... Oh my god, how much does recoil do? It says 30 to 37. shot at me. Okay, he's only for Earthquake, that's fine. Just don't crit? Okay. And then I close combat. That was a little slow, but... So generally, if the Altaria just uses double team, I probably have enough to close combat the Salamence right there, but because I got Earthquake... fight is completely free because I'm going to set up 2x specs and an x accuracy and that will guarantee all the ranges and ensure my heat waves don't miss because this is a only heat wave fight. You can theory you could go into this fight with Blaze and YOLO it, but obviously I can't do that given my Hopefully I still have these x accuracies. Specials rather. So this thing will just spam protect. It'll really only go for its attacking moves if you're low enough health to die to them. I have no idea why his name is Ice. So my gold splits are all pretty much YOLO, so that's why I'm always losing time to best split on this, uh, in this area. Okay. Champion. This fight coming up is generally not too bad, but obviously if I get critical, it's bad. So, Cynthia. Unfortunately, the Gen 4 Cynthia theme is not the battle theme for this, so I'm very disappointed. It's just the standard Gen 3 champion theme. But if they put Cynthia's theme in here somehow, I would be very happy. Because that is the best battle theme. In my opinion. So this thing has Intimidate. I have to set up three times to get to plus two. It can also use Bulk Up. So it... so hopefully I don't see Bulk Up, because then I have to use Close Combat on him. Okay. I just don't want to see it three times. Two. Okay, just use something else now, please. So I have to close combat here. It's not the end of the world because 
he deals damage to me, then I probably will be taking damage anyway. But the recoil is a bit of a pain. And I'm probably taking more damage from recoil as well. Okay, this Togekiss is a 15 and 16 range with Brick Break. This Gallade is a 100% range. I have just enough health to actually use close combat on the next thing. So actually, him using Brick Break three times is, is actually ideal. Because I'll have a sliver of health after this. I still have Mudkip in my party, and Mudkip didn't faint. I'm going to use Close Combat on her last poke, which is a Roserade, instead of Heat Wave, because Heat Wave can miss, obviously. And so, Infernape will faint, but I'll still win the battle. We're looking like looking like a 419. Yeah, it's definitely not a 418. There's still a minute to go, I think. Okay, this is actually a very decent run. Much better than my PB. I'm probably not gonna. I'm probably gonna definitely not. I'm not. I, uh, I don't think I'm gonna play this again anytime soon. There's definitely some improvement in the early game in terms of doing the a slightly riskier strat on the first gym, which uh, would save time in the best case scenario, but you could just die a lot of times. So I might look into into doing that and seeing how that affects, but that might affect the overall run later on, so I'm not sure if it actually saves time overall. I don't know why I'm losing time. That was a pretty good fight. I guess because I saved? That must be why. Just in time to feed the cat. Alrighty, 